Hey y'all, what's up? In today's video, we are going to uh, reset the waste ink counters on the Epson XP860. Of course, as you all know, I am getting this baby ready to convert for DTF, um, just to have something to play with. However, uh, making sure that the counters are clear are one of the uh, requirements to ensure you have a smooth transition. Now, even if you're using it for regular printing, sublimation, you name it, you're still going to need to clear these waste ink counters. All right, so stick around and let's get to the PC so I can show you how to do that. You will need the USB cord. It will need to be uh, plugged into your PC. Um, via USB. Also, original Epson drivers need to be installed onto your PC. And then we'll head over to inkchip.net. All right, guys, so you're going to want to head over to inkchip.net. Over here, you're going to go to the WIC waste ink counter section. You're going to purchase one of your keys and download. I have already purchased my key. So we are going to download into the download section. Now, when it downloads, you will need to extract files. So you'll right click that, that's a compressed file. Then you'll click on the file and you'll click on the ink chip wick program, waste ink counters, and we're gonna choose the XP. They're at 51%, but we're gonna do it anyway. One moment. All right, so you paste your code. It says done. Please restart the printer in order to finish the job. So here we are at the printer and we're going to restart. And turn it back on after a couple of seconds, of course, because it takes a second or two. And we'll head back over to the PC. All right, so we're back to the PC. It says done. Please restart your printer. And that is it, y'all. This is how you reset the XP860. Should you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me via the comments. Like, comment, subscribe, and thank you guys so much.